Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Hand Clapper, which uh, um, is a fantastic uh, drum synthesizer focused on claps sounds. Before I continue, I would like to uh, remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So, Hand Clapper is based on a Japanese synthesizer and uh, uses free internal. Uh, sources it comes with a lot of presets as I will show you in a moment and a lot of also custom sampling you can load also your own samples and uh, it virtually uh, reproduce uh, club sounds from the 808 909 and HC2 um, so as you can see a familiar interface from audio thing uh, what you notice is is here at the bottom a big uh, button which you can click on it of course to generate the club sounds but of course you could for example use also the AUM keyboard so starting from the top you have uh, where it says in it you can select uh, uh, browse the presets really which it comes with Really nice. Let's hide the keyboard now. And of course, you have factory bank and also user bank as well. You can, of course, save a preset, delete it, randomize to create your own. And also you can lock and unlock parameters that you move between presets. And then here you have a, a menu, which is um, more or less the same settings you find in all the plugins from Audio Thing. So I'm not going to go through them all um, again. And of course here you can bypass uh, uh, the effect, uh, uh, sorry, the audio source if you like so. So you can turn it on and off, right? Okay, so how does it work? So at the very top you have uh, a repetition module um, which establishes how many times it is triggering the audio sources. Um, and then um, you can establish the amount here um, of triggering and also the rate. Then it goes into a tone generator, really, which um, um, then is you, for which you can control the decay. Then it goes into a bandpass filter, and then into a pick filter, and you can control the frequency of the filters here, and you can control the gain of the pick filter here as well. And then, of course, it goes into a reverb, and then overall again for the whole instrument. You have a control for randomness, which controls the. Uh, filters frequency but also the gain here as well here is where you can select the source between of course uh, 808 909 hc2 and then here where it says custom you just click on it and then uh, you can choose between the samples which it comes with or you can import the sample so let's say that uh, we want to import a sample and we go inside my sound for more uh, audio files here and let's choose something completely different, like a piano note. You can see it is imported here. Okay, perfect. Now let's click outside. You can hear the number of repetition here, which you can increase. You can increase the rate. The decay. Also the reverb. You can adjust the frequency. And then you can play with the randomness. And you can hear, of course, that is generating, it, well, uh, different settings for the frequency and gain as well. So it's a really nice uh, uh, drum synthesizer, which, of course, you can combine uh, with all your other AUV3 inside uh, um, your music production. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.